Hello friends, this is Dr. Naina Patel from Akanksha Hospital and Research Institute, Anand Gujarat. We are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is very pertinent to all the females of this age and time. We all know that men can produce sperms every two months and it could be up to 50 years, 60 years, whatever. But the females are born with a set number of eggs which keep on reducing after the age of 32 and after the age of 35, it also goes abnormal. So the chances of conceiving after 35 for a female goes down drastically. And one of the main reason is the quality and the quantity of the eggs. How do we know the quality? The first thing is the age of the female. Younger the age, better quality eggs, even if they are low in number. But after the age of 35, even if you have good number of eggs, the quality goes down. Second is the ultrasound picture, which will tell you what is the basal enteral follicle count. And third is the anti-mullerian hormone, which will tell you that what is your ovarian reserve. Now, low AMH, low quantity and quality of eggs can be a burning issue for females of advanced age. Also, it can be an issue for a younger female who at a young age has started losing her eggs. There could be various reasons, like it could be genetic, it could be passing from the family, or she has an autoimmune disease or comorbidity like diabetes, she's obese. All these reasons or some surgery on the ovary on the past or tuberculosis can reduce the egg reserve. Endometriosis can reduce the egg reserve. So all these females, when they go for the treatment of pregnancy, the egg becomes a hindrance. But do not be disheartened. We have treatment for this. There is a holistic approach where you have a healthy lifestyle, eat a lot of proteins and vegetables, low on carbohydrates, exercise. If you are very low on weight, try to put on some weight, acupuncture, certain herbs. Healthy lifestyle means no smoking, no caffeine, no alcohol. But there is a scientific approach too. And that is what I'm going to discuss and that is ovarian rejuvenation. We all know that we, as we age, our hair, skin doesn't look the same what it looked 10 years back. So a 35 year old doesn't look the same what she looked at 25. But she can go to spa, she can take treatment and rejuvenate herself. Go on a holiday, you rejuvenate your body. And it is said that the age, why it affects the ovary? Because the environmental toxins, whatever you have undergone in your life, like falling sick, taking medications, junk food, whatever, affects all the cells of your body and ovarian cells, eggs are the first to be affected. So how do we rejuvenate them scientifically? There are three simple procedures. One is the ovarian rejuvenation with platelet-rich plasma. So there we take your about 30 ml of blood. From there, we prepare platelet-rich plasma, which is very meticulously prepared. And once it is prepared, we separate it totally, the platelets, we activate them. And as soon as it is activated by mechanical stimulation, in 15 minutes, we inject in both your ovaries. We can do it very simply transvaginally under anesthesia, put it in both the ovaries, three hours you rest and you are back home and back to your routine. The other technique is the same platelet-rich plasma is injected in both the ovaries laparoscopically wherein you come on empty stomach. Under anesthesia, we put four, four holes on your abdomen, one on the belly button, two on the left and one on the right, very small holes like button, button holes. And then we inject in both the ovaries the platelet-rich plasma, which is more precise because we can go to the cortex under region directly and also go through the hilum of the ovary where there is blood supply to the ovary. The same procedure, laparoscopically or transvaginal installation, instead of platelet-rich plasma, we can take the bone marrow derived cell concentrate stem cells. We can take it from the anterior iliac crest or posterior iliac crest, that is your hip bone. That is also done under anesthesia, no cut, just a needle is put, it is painless. Once we remove it, we send it to the stem cell lab and from there the concentrate is prepared and then we inject it either transvaginally in both the ovaries or laparoscopically in both the ovaries. 
This has a better result because this bone marrow derived cell concentrate stem cells are more potent than the platelet rich plasma. The third procedure is ovarian tissue activation which has to be done only laparoscopically. In your ovary, in the cortex are the ovarian stem cells. So we try to remove the cortex through laparoscopy, a part of your ovary outer cortex. We send it to our lab at the same time and the trained embryologist will chip it into very, very small slices or pieces and then within 40 minutes give it back into the operation theatre where your laparoscopy is going on and then we inject it either in the basal samples on the ovary or on the ovary itself. And the same evening you are discharged. So two months we give you medication after this and then you can go for IVF, IUI and during these two months we have number of patients who have conceived naturally. So you can start trying the month following this immediately and we have got wonderful results at all the ages be it 35, be it 40, be it 46 and young females because of their low AMH if they are having miscarriages then also these procedures will help. So don't be disheartened if a doctor says that you have low quantity quality eggs, maybe it will fail or you, maybe you want to go for donor eggs. No, we will help you with this rejuvenation, the spa for your ovaries. So just think positive and go for the ovarian re rejuvenation procedure. We are always there to help you conceive with your own genetic material that is with your own eggs. Thank you.